Hello, I'm Tom Gibbons, Instructional Designer for eLearning at South Seattle College, and this is the demonstration video for the grade a document assignment in Intro to Canvas. So uh, I'm here on the grade a document assignment. I've already done everything that I need to do to get ready for this assignment, read through the content. And so the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that I have my practice course open in a new tab. I do, and I actually have it open up to my demonstration assignment already. But um, what I have to do for this grade a document assignment is, the first thing, switch to student view. So uh, we've done this before, but just as a refresher, you go to settings in your course. So I'm in my course now, my practice course. And over on the right-hand side, you're going to see a bank of... Uh, links that you can select from. The second one down is student view. I'm going to click on it. Now you can see that I am in student view. I've got this hot pink frame around everything. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to assignments and I'm going to open up this demonstration assignment. So I'm going to hit submit assignment and I'm going to choose a file to upload and I'm going to go to my Google Drive folder and I'm going to go to these sample essays right here. And I'm going to do Trojan Women 7. I'm just going to go ahead and open that. And I can see that it's there. I'm going to submit the assignment. So here I can see that that assignment has been turned in as the test student. So I'm all set there. I'm going to leave student view. So that was the first part of the assignment for upload. Now, my submission as the test student was a docx document. It needs to be dot doc, docx, or dot pdf. If it isn't, um, it won't do what you need it to do. Uh, I did not create any module requirements that blocked me as a student from getting to that assignment. You may have. You'll see a notification that tells you it's part of a locked module or you haven't completed the requirements for that module yet, so be aware uh, of those things. Now my next section here is that I need to grade that submission that I just made using SpeedGrader. And I need to leave at least one comment using DocViewer. I need to make a comment in the sidebar. I need to complete the rubric and insert at least one comment for a specific criterion in the rubric. So I'm going to come back to my practice course. Over on the right hand side I can see there's a link here for SpeedGrader. SpeedGrader is the grading interface for Canvas. Opening it up and you will see here a number of things. So just going to go across from left to right. There's an icon here that looks like a little book. That's the gradebook icon. Uh, there is an icon here that looks like a speaker. That's to mute or unmute an assignment. Um, the assignment, when it is muted, it means that students won't see their grades when you complete the rubric or enter a grade in the grade box. They also won't see any assignment comments that you make. Basically, the, their visibility on what you're doing with their assignment submission is frozen. This is a nice thing if you need to go back and kind of re-norm uh, your grades on, some, on a set of essays, for example, um, or if you've made a mistake somewhere when you're grading through things and you realize, oh, okay, I need to go back and give some people some credit, or if, you know, as you're writing along and you're making a comments in the sidebar, you realize uh, in retrospect that you probably shouldn't have submitted that comment to that student. You were um, taking something that they did in a particular way and you actually want to go back and fix it and you don't really want them to see that comment. Um, this basically makes it so that um, all of that stuff is locked down. Students aren't seeing the work as you're doing it. And then you can hit the unmute button and everybody gets their paper back at the same time. Everybody gets their comments back at the same time. It's kind of a nice thing. Uh, these are um, keyboard shortcuts for use in SpeedGrader. There is also a link to help and a link to settings in SpeedGrader. So SpeedGrader options that you have, um, you can sort student names uh, alphabetically by the date they submitted the assignment or by submission status, whether it needs grading, uh, not submitted, etc. You can also hide student names in SpeedGrader. If you teach uh, a subject where students have to put their name in a heading like uh, MLA formatted papers or APA formatted papers, obviously not going to help a whole lot. But if you're doing homework or assignment submissions that don't necessarily require their name on the top of it, then hiding student names in the speed grader may actually help to kind of uh, norm grades uh, and get rid of any sort of unknown biases that you may have. So that's kind of a nice feature. 
then we have some information about the assignment. This is the name of the assignment, it's demonstration assignment. If I clicked on this, it would open the assignment page uh, again, take me back there. I have the due date and time, and then actually this is a link back to the home page for my practice course. So those are nice things to be able to get to, and they're not, it's not entirely in apparent what those do, but those are nice uh, if you, when you're ready to get out of SpeedGrader. This shows me I've graded zero out of one, and I've got one out of one students who've submitted. Uh, then this next thing across the top is the student list. So this is showing me what student I'm on. I can use the back and forward arrows to go to the previous student or the next student, but because there's only one student in here, that's it. And then I can see like this little orange dot means I've got a submission and that it hasn't been graded yet. Uh, so you'll notice that there are little icons and that the names of the students are, are formatted differently based on whether or not they've submitted uh, or not and whether they've got things that need to be graded or that have already been graded. All right. This tells me what date and time the particular thing was submitted. I get a note that said it was late, if it was late. Um, this is a, a place to download the file directly, so going down the right-hand column here, going through all these things, I can actually download this specific file. Uh, there's a grade box here, and then there's a button that says View Rubric. There's the Assignment Comments box, and um, then some other buttons where I can either attach a document here to my comments, I can create a um, media comment, an, either an audio recording or a video recording. And then finally, this is a speech recognition button. Uh, because I'm in Chrome, I can do speech to text. So if I have a microphone, I could hit this button and just speak my comment and it would transcribe it here into the box, which is kind of cool. And then the submit button here for comments. So uh, the first thing that I need to do here is I need a little more real estate. This gray bar here with the three dots, I can click on it and drag it over and that shrinks the left-hand panel and opens up the right-hand grading panel a little bit more. If you have a longer rubric or more details in it, that's going to be helpful. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the rubric. And all I have to do to grade with the rubric is just click these boxes because I have it set up to uh, use ratings, uh, rating levels rather than doing free form comments. So I'm going to say, all right, uh, full marks for length, full marks for grammar and mechanics, full marks for content. Cool. Uh, and then I'm going to save it. I save it and it writes the grade up into the box automatically. If you didn't have this writing up into the box, then that means that you have forgotten to use the rubric for grading, to set it up, to set the rubric up to use it for grading. And so if I go back to the assignment here and edit the rubric, you'll see that box that says use this rubric for assignment grading. If this box isn't checked, then filling out the rubric won't populate the grade automatically. And all you have to do to fix that, if you find that you've done that, um, is just go back in, check the box, save it, and then come back into the assignment that you've graded that doesn't have a grade, open up the rubric again, resave it, and then the grade would populate up into the box. All right, so I filled out the rubric, but I did not leave a rubric comment, so I'm going to do that here. Um, you click on the little green speech bubble underneath the point value box, and then this new box opens up, and I can just say, uh, this length is perfect. Okay, so I'm going to update those comments, and you can see that it's a little bit darker, but it's actually really difficult to tell that I've done anything here. Uh, but once I save the rubric, I'll actually be able to read that comment right there, and I can pop it open, and I can see that in more detail. All right, now I also need to leave a sidebar comment and I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna hit submit. You can see that I've got that comment there, that's great. And now the last thing that I need to do, I'm gonna go back to grade a document assignment here and I can see I need, left a comment in the sidebar, I completed the rubric, I submitted a specific comment I haven't done this first thing yet using the doc viewer. So let me go in here. This is doc viewer. There's that little green banner. Uh, this is just a way for you to view documents in line in canvas pages and you can make comments. So you can make point comments like this. You can pick what color you want your point to be. And I can just sort of go in here and say, put it right there. 
All right, and then I'm going to shrink this down just a little bit so we have a little bit more viewable area. All right, and I'm going to say uh, nice spacing. Terrible comment on, on writing, but okay. So I hit enter, it locks that comment in. And if you look, I can delete this comment. If I click on this comment box, I can delete it from here as well. I can also hit reply. Your students can hit reply as well. So they may have a comp start having a conversation with you in here. You will not be notified when they leave comments here. If they leave comments over in the submission comments area over on the right hand side, the sidebar area, you would get notified. Here you don't. Um, it's sort of frustrating. Hopefully that will change. But that's a point comment. You can also do a highlight comment. You can pick the color of your highlighter here and blue again. And then all I do is go ahead and highlight this. And now I get the option to add a comment. So I'm going to click that button and I'm going to leave another comment. Uh, great italics. I hit enter and that locks it in. Uh, I can do a um, text insert. So I click there and I can actually, hi there, insert text. So I've got text inserted. Um, ooh, I have another text comment there. And if I want to get rid of it, I click on it and I should be able to delete it. And it's going to say, hey, are you sure you want to delete it? I'm saying, okay, goes away. So what I did was I clicked on it and I hit the delete key. So that one's a little weird. Uh, the next thing I can do is strike through. So I can highlight text and it will draw a line through it, just like that. I can also choose to make an optional comment if I want to, don't have to. And click here, delete, yes. I can draw directly on the document like that. I don't want it, I'm gonna delete it, okay. Uh, and then I can also just do an area comment like this, where I'm sort of boxing in an area that's nice for drawings and things like that, PowerPoint presentations, that sort of thing. Um, so I'm not going to do that. But I've got a couple of comments there, so I've done everything that I need to do for this. And so I go over here, and it says submit the URL for the assignment that you created for create an assignment as your submission for this assignment. Don't submit the speed grader link. Okay. So that means I don't want to submit the speed grader link because if you look, it's ugly. Um, what I'm going to do is submit this link. So I'm going to control C. I'm going to come over here and I need to hit submit assignment for this. Control V. And I'm going to go ahead and submit. And there it is. Submission has been turned in. We are all set. And that is all there is for this assignment.